so I should be okay now. Second phase, now again, is is called the first phase. So this is how we change pages inside of QML. Hello everyone, this is Ghost to Bohril and welcome back to Kali. In today's episode, I have decided to teach you how to use QML and inside QML, how do you switch pages? For example, if you want to, if you're in a home page and you want to move to another page, like just like in a website, like if you're in a home page, you want to go into about page, you click in about and you go to about page, right? So how we could do that in Qt? So for that, we need to know some bit of QML and in today's episode, I'll teach you how to switch page in QML. It's not very complicated, it's very, very simple. So we go our create our project. It's going to buy a Qt quick application, we choose and I'll name it switch base and we continue we continue we continue and then we select our kit uh, i'm in my macbook so i select my mac mac os stick stop kit if you're in a window then you can select your windows kit and then these are the files that will be created in the project so here we have we have our, our simple window application so with the title right here the window with this dimension and this title so we'll change our title name switch base so what i'll do is i'll add another qml base so i'll go here and add new qt qml file and second, I'll just keep the name second. Okay. So I added my camera file, the main file and same file. We have two files, right? So what I'll do in camera file is in our first file. This is meant to be our first file. Right. First file. So I'll import Qt quick dot controls. So this gives us access to the element that helps us do the navigation from one page to another page. So what I'll add is a stack view. What a stack view does is like it will load one page on top of another page. So it's, it's just like a stack. There will be a first page and second page, third page, fourth page. And this is a this is basically a loader that loads first page, and if you say load third page, then it loads the third page. So I'll show you how. Um, okay, for now we created stack page. I'll call it loader because loads it right, and then what I'll do is like. fill the parent and I'll make a button here zero rectangle and default will be 500 I guess 500 is too much I'll give 200 and width will be let's say 50 and color will be green dark And let's also have a text. This is text one. Let's have a text in the button saying seven. Yes. Okay, so whenever I'll show you first. So we have a window here. Okay, I need to change the dimension. So whenever you click this button, you need to go to the next page, right? So I okay. It is 50 and it is 200. 
and I centered this. Just go center, yeah. Alright. We'll also give it radius radius radius. We have the button. We'll change the text to center and anchors your center here. Bam. This will also center text inside of the rectangle. The black color is not suiting it, so I'll change the color to white. Okay, second place. So whenever I click this, I need to go to the second place. Before I do anything, I'll just copy this the this rectangle and in, oh, oops. I'll go to second page and I change this to page. See when I change the page it's not recognizing this, so for this to be recognized, we need to add qt quick dot controls. It comes under qt quick controls, so this is our element and inside we keep the property color I'll keep this dark gray so that we know the difference that we change the face so this is the face the color is directly not identified so I'll change the background and inside background I'll have a rectangle and then inside rectangle we'll have color the reason for doing this is like the element property sorry the element page doesn't explicitly have the property color so what we do is like we add a background that fills up the page and which color is this means the background is already this so i'll sorry i'll copy the rectangle that we made in the main file so that we can navigate back to the main file when we go to the second file so for example if we click and then we open the main window right so where there will be a button to go to second page so this is a button to go to first page we are very very close and in here I'll say The fill pad, I guess this is all right, and then I'll add a mouse area here. Oops. What mouse area does is it creates, creates an area inside of the rectangle and anchor start fill. Right. Now, what this mouse area is, it I'm saying that fill the mouse area to the parent, which is our rectangle. So whenever I'm, my mouse cursor is inside the rectangle, it recognizes it. So this is it, and on click. So whenever we click the mouse area, see here, the mouse area fills the parent. So whenever we click the rectangle, because it fills the mouse area, right? If we are inside the rectangle, we are inside the mouse area as well. So when we click it, we want to say, okay, loader dot push this is a function for this stack view to push another page in our case which is second.qml so i'll give the path let's say qrc column and then name of my project switch page and then the name of my second file second.qml so let's see if it's working or no so if I click on second page I go to the first page but if I click to first page do I go back no not right not yet so what I do is I'll also copy this and go to second page and inside the rectangle I'll give the mouse area and on clicked in this case we're going to first first oh no we are going to main.qml right so I should be okay now second page now again it says go to first page so this is how we change pages inside of qml hope this helps um, i'll be back with another c plus plus video very very soon 
Thank you for watching. Have a good time.